the kind of person who want to do technical art, I think, is someone who's curious, who is interested in lots of different things. And if you, I think if you want to work in an industry like games, VFX, TV, animation, um, interactive immersive media, by being a, coming on this course, mm -hmm. it means you can go and work in so many different industries. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say um, technical artists are always kind of future-proofing themselves because in an industry that's constantly changing, the technical artists are always at the forefront of those changes. Yeah. They're yeah. the ones making the changes. With the rapid changes that are happening currently in areas such as AI and the metaverse, which seem to be changing how we create and consume creative content, it's the technical artists that are creating the tools that empower artists to bring these projects to life. This could be for AR, VR, advertising, VFX, animation, or games with near limitless possibilities. So you're part of an industry that's growing. Being a technical artist means you're always going to be in demand. Yeah. So on the technical art course, um, one of the things that um, students will be um, doing is actually learning how to code. Yeah. So we do start from the ground up of coding. So there's no kind of, if you're feeling like I've never coded before um, and I have no idea about any different programming languages, we do start from the absolute kind of fundamentals of coding and yeah. build up from there. And the idea being is that if you understand the fundamentals, then the programming languages don't matter so much because you're yeah. just learning perhaps different syntax and different kind of ways in which that code, um, that particular language works. On the course we explore the concept of proceduralism which is where we create reusable tools. So to compare perhaps on our game art course we might ask an artist to create some foliage or create a tree. So instead of creating a tree what we'd actually do with a procedural tool is create a tree maker so that what we could do is create something that an artist would then use to change the shape, colour, size or details of the tree with pretty much endless possibilities and customization. so that instead of just making kind of one tree we're able to make an entire forest very quickly with hundreds of unique trees and unique assets. Something like this is fantastic when considering that as an artist in the creative industry we're often working in service of a client's vision and often a client will want to see different versions of something so the quicker we're able to iterate and change your work for better.